even having a little bit of a giggle session. <laughs> <laughs> this has actually been fun. Hello. I have a very important person here. Yes. <laughs> and she's a new friend. Her name is Lindy. Hello. And she is going to give us a grand tour of her minivan. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Lindy. Sure. Um, so I'm Lindy, living the life Lindy on YouTube, Lindy Marie on Facebook. Um, I am a full-time nomad. I am in a 2016 Dodge Grand Caravan all the way from Minnesota, now in Arizona. And yeah, just met Lee and I'm very excited for the tour too. We met on Facebook. Yes. And I asked her if I could do a tour of her van and she agreed to it. Thank you, Lindy, so much. Very welcome. And we've become friends already. You know how this lifestyle is. <laughs> it goes very fast. You have to get to know each other very mm -hmm. fast. And I yes. think as nomads, we've learned how to maneuver that. Oh, definitely. Well. I agree. So tell everybody, Lindy, what, uh, what got you started in this? Sure. Um, I've actually been nomadic for... Uh, I think I'm going on my seventh year now, um, wow. since I was 35, going to be 42 this year. And I've only had the minivan since uh, November of 2019. And prior to that, I actually was in the original Scion XB. I called it my little toaster. It was a little square box. Oh, okay. And I had all the seats out. I didn't have any fanciness. Now with my upgrade, I have many, many items that I'm very much enjoying. So. Where yeah. are you from? Uh, originally from Minnesota. I've actually lived all over the U.S. My background's HR, but I've done gig work. Um, I've worked on some farms too. So, yeah, but Minnesota. What 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 brought you to this <laughs> this, this system here? This lifestyle. What who, was there anybody that you know got you thinking about it or? Actually, uh, yes. So I was in sticks and bricks working full time, and my aunt told me about an off-grid uh, lifestyle of women in Wisconsin. And she thought, well, you know, you might enjoy this. I don't know why, but I feel like you might enjoy this. I'm like, you know, I might, I might. So I actually went and checked them out. I stayed with them for a while and I was hooked. And from there I started little traveling jaunts. I took a mega bus to Chicago, stayed at a hostel there for a long weekend um, and then Randomly, I bought a ticket to Turkey. <laughs> I kept two boxes in my Scion, sold all the rest of my things. It was seven months out, and I did a one-way to Turkey and pretty much haven't looked back. I've stayed in sticks and bricks here and there, but definitely am a nomad. I don't have a home base besides my minivan. Um, but yeah, I'd say my aunt, my aunt was the one. So thank you. Now, do you boondock most of the time or city life? Uh, what's your style yeah. of being a nomad? So I actually do both um, depending on my needs. I really like the balance of being in the city, but I also really like being out in nature. Um, I'm not that keen on the desert. I will be honest. Uh, I prefer mountains. I prefer oceans um, and such. So, but yeah, I definitely have done both. I've worked in the city. I've been very stealthy in the city. I actually haven't done it with my minivan, but in my Scion prior, I had lots of different gig jobs all over in different big cities. So, yep, both. <laughs> very nice. Um, do you travel alone or do you travel in a caravan or? Um, so for many years I was alone. I actually didn't even know about the nomadic community um, and that all this was happening. And once I found out, I slowly kind of met a few people here and there. Um, I don't really have a tribe per se. I enjoy the company of others, definitely smaller groups, more quality versus the quantity of people. Um, so I kind of do both and I enjoy both. This is a Dodge Caravan. Anything else we should know about it? Um, so this model, and the reason I got it, a couple things. Uh, first off, it has all stone go seats, so all rows are stone go. A lot of the minivans don't have that feature, so a lot of people have to take out um, the seats. And I didn't take out any because I want to be able to sell it if I upgrade or something something happens and I change lifestyles. So that's the first thing. And then the other thing is there's a lot of electrical uh, areas I can plug in my power sources, but one of them in the front I actually don't have to have the minivan on for and I actually just uh, Possibly learned this just a couple months ago <laughs> um, Okay, but so if you know the weather conditions aren't so for solar I can actually plug in and charge while I'm sitting. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so those are the biggest things so of your entire setup uh, what is the greatest strength of your particular setup that we can look for as you give us that three penny tour <laughs> um i would say probably the biggest strength with the setup is comfort level 
Um, I actually am a homebody at heart. I like to be out and, you know, into nature and such and with other people, but I really enjoy the comfort of being inside. Yes. And I think with my bed upgrade, I actually have, um, which is open as a bed now. Nobody's seen that yet. Okay. Um, but it can convert into a really You're comfortable gonna, we're couch. We're going to be the first. Yes, the first. And the couch <laughs> has actually a chase uh, feature attached to it so okay. I can fit quite a few people in here okay. um, wow yeah really? okay so with weather conditions it's fun to have people in here watch a movie play cards I even have had a couple dogs in here at once okay uh, so there's actually a lot of room it doesn't look like it when we get in here but I have a full-size bed now and okay. I'm 5'11 so it's it's ideal but I would can say tell she's comfort. a bit taller than bit, I am I'm a bit yeah. taller than yes yeah, so, definitely yeah. <laughs> that, that's fun to be taller yes it's yes. nice that it definitely has its disadvantages, yes. but that's when you wear stretchy pants because um, yeah. you have to bend in all sorts of weird ways. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, do you, are there any weak links in your system that you'd like to maybe say, hmm, it's about time? Um, you know, there's not specific things. My setup is ever changing to my needs, okay. um, and I'm just very open to that. Okay. Um, I've already started to think about pulling something, so maybe like even a wee roll. Oh, okay. Um, and having that so I can actually set up somewhere and be able to leave and come back to that spot. That's been something on my mind. Um, but otherwise, no, not like one particular thing. I really enjoy my setup. There's a lot of quirks. Okay. There's a lot of, um, you'll see duct tape, you'll see, you know, <laughs> okay. the, the real yeah. things. And it, it's like my tool chest, you know. Yeah, duct tape. <laughs> yeah, exactly, your tool chest. As far as traveling places, is there um, any particular areas you tend to stick with? Um, any states that... Well, I was in Washington for a very long time. I love the Pacific Northwest. Okay. Um, it's beautiful there. And the humidity tends to be low. You have your days, but it tends to be low, and I enjoy that. That's a big thing with moisture, especially in a minivan. Um, but I'd say Pacific Northwest. I haven't actually explored the East yet, and I really want to. So I've been thinking about it for the spring, trying to decide. But yes. Arizona is really where it's at. I right mean, now. the weather, yeah, the sun, the little humidity. Most nomads are, they do the Arizona they, thing. They end up not here everybody, eventually. But, yeah. No, not everybody, but okay. national forests, those are the best. So we're just going to start in the front here, uh, just briefly for the side pockets of the door. Just an umbrella. I have some car uh, items. Um, I have some of the fly traps, bags, who doesn't need bags, Velcro, mm -hmm. I use that a lot to put up pictures and stuff. Yes. And then going into the driver's side, not a lot going on here. I try to keep this pretty clean uh, if I can. Um, so right here, just basically just carry my masks. Um, I have those lights up here in the front, they're motion lights I use at night, so I'm just charging them now. I also have a solar flashlight. Just some hats, and then we'll see on the other side, I have coverings for my windows, too, I'll talk about. Now, your seats are all still in here, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so all the stone okay. goes are just packed away, and then I have both front seats. Okay. Neither swivel or do anything What do you like keep that. in this bag right here? Yep, that's my laundry. Okay. <laughs> so, obviously, it's laundry time. Yes, me too. And then the too. <laughs> middle part, the console area, um, I have kind of a jack-of-all-trades, you know, like that kitchen kitchen drawer that has everything I now keep mine here open. is the moisture thing right yes i actually what's got it called that. uh i'm not sure the name of okay it on there but it's from dollar tree okay and i have another friend that uses them and does it work I am. yep okay haven't i mean you can see i didn't collect much here i'm in arizona but once i get right. to texas in the back um side doorway area i have my wipe container i just keep wipes for easy access this is my portable Mr. Buddy. They have the bigger one, but I absolutely love this one. Haven't had any issues with it. Um, back of the seats, my toiletries. This is actually a plastic shoe holder that I cut down to size. And then I just keep all the things that I use on a regular basis. And I have my microfiber towel. I just have the one towel. You do the curtain? Yes, <laughs> so the curtain looks a little wonky. I, I had it too tight. Um, so it's not connected here, but it's up with Velcro. Um, and then I have an industrial glue as well. And this is a blackout curtain. I just and have one. And the glue one. is holding? Yes, it's yes. been great. Okay. Uh, no issues in the conditions with the heat. 
Okay. Humidity, well, we'll see. Yeah, I haven't really been in humidity yet, but um, it's been wonderful. I never take it down, but I can if I wanted to. Um, but I will tie it up in the middle if I want a little more light. But it's been wonderful for privacy. And then at night, I actually take it and I put it through the O crap door handle we'll say <laughs> and it you keeps know, they come in privacy. handy for certain things and for they, everything and, yes <laughs> for this and for getting up and down definitely. exactly um, so that's that okay well that's interesting i like that and then uh, in the middle there's actually a really long drawer right here and i won't pull it out now for you okay uh, just part of the van but i keep an extra power bank and a battery jumper in there okay um, I keep that charged all the time. This we is know my, what this is. Yes, 500 watt Jackery. It's actually being charged right now from the minivan without it being on. Again, one of those features I really liked about the Dodge Grand Caravan, the newer models. Um, but I have my fridge charging right now in that. And that's usually what I use this for. And it looks like my phone is plugged in too. Okay. Okay. Now you mentioned fridge. Is that what this might be? Uh, yes. So this is oh. my Ostrovic uh, fridge. It's an eco-friendly fridge. Doesn't pull a lot of wattage for me. I've I've really enjoyed it. I'm not sure if Let's they make the this okay. model anymore. Okay. Um, with the coloring and such, but it's not that big of a fridge, but it works for me. Considering before I barely had a cooler. I recently purchased one of those Hot Logics. So I keep organic frozen meals in there, which I don't keep it on freezer setting. I keep it on fridge setting. So I keep those out of the box in there. So lasagnas and enchiladas and stuff um, for big meals. Mm -hmm. And then I have spinach and I have some drinks, maybe some snacks like chocolate. Okay. <laughs> and then if you continue up on the shelf. First shelving, I carry any extra toiletries um, and also any, you know, basic kitchen household items like butane, propane, paper towels, um, different sprays. Did you make this? Actually, my friend has made every build I have. <laughs> so he had put this in. It is not attached to the van at all. Okay. Um, so technically it's a build, but some people say no build, I guess, if it's not attached. Okay. This shelf's all my dry good foods. Okay. This shelf keeps all like undergarments, t-shirts, and I always have one thing of water back here. Okay. And then the extra that I added is a closet. Oh, wow. So I put Let's all my see. outfits together. Um, as you can Let's see, see, lots what of we hangers got here. open. Yeah. I need to do laundry. <laughs> so this is attached to the wood. It's attached to the wood. Um, ah. I didn't put the screws in all the way on the bottom okay. there just because it sticks through on the other side. Um, oh, gotcha. But it, I've not had any issues. It's and where did really you get well. this little device here to I, hang with? Yeah, I got that one off of Amazon. Okay. Um, it took me a while to find that specific one. Okay. Um, but it worked out great. I have my passenger seat up all the way. Okay. Um, so I can't utilize my passenger seat for actual people now. Okay. But I wanted that yeah, closet. This is, this is um, a good organized system. Thank you. If you can go into your past orders and maybe give us the link for that i yeah, bet some people i go, can look for I that want, you're probably gonna see people go i want that oh yeah <laughs> yeah uh, probably i like it i like it <laughs> thank you very much yes uh underneath i do keep a couple items you can't really see under there you can okay. move the clothes it's just yeah. my gym bag and okay. i keep my eggs under there okay. i keep my eggs for a week and i just keep them cooled under there it stays really nice Your shoe organizer um, piece and you'll see the rest of that in a little while. Okay, but in those pockets. I keep all of my utensils. I keep my um, Bathroom items and just a few other miscellaneous things, but I had the room so I wanted to utilize as much space as possible So I put that and then those mirrors are just a packet from Walmart I think it was like five dollars just for a little something you know, to make it more homey. Uh, over here <clears throat> to the left, we'll kind of make our way around. I thought maybe that'd be the easiest. You'll see some lights around. Those are those Lucy string lights. That's what I use in here for a power source. Oh. You can't really tell right now, but at night, if I have it on, I, the highest setting, I feel like I'm inside a hospital. <laughs> so it's and very these, bright. And are these from Amazon also? Um, I actually got these directly from the Lucy uh, Lucy. site. L -U -C -I, most people, L-U-C-I, right? Lucy, yeah. Yeah, most people have those blow-up <clears throat> lights. I had those for a while. I really wanted something different because I can actually take these off and put them outside if I want. Okay. Um, so that, And I can wrap them up. It just worked out really well. And I put up pictures on the yes. ceiling with pins that I collect. I haven't collected enough pins yet, so. And we've got some on this yes. side, too. 
Oh, and we got the, is that a fan? Yep, I have one on both sides. I opened oh. this one up for you so you can see. Uh, it's actually lights and a fan. So I have lots of lights. But these have three settings as well for the fan. And I've noticed the cross breeze, it has been wonderful. Especially if the hatch is open. Um, I can be in 80 degree, 85 degree in dry conditions and have no problem. Be very comfortable in here. So, And then over here is just kind of another, it's almost like a nightstand, I guess. I do uh, have candles in my uh, real candle, um, but that little holder, normally it's a cup holder, it fits perfectly and I don't have any issues with anything burning. And I usually just keep my phone there. This little travel line container is actually for power cords, my small ones okay. that I use back here. So I have another phone one, my headphones, my lights, everything is kept in here. Plus a router or a, what's it called, a jet, jet pack. I use that too for internet. And of course a headlamp. Everybody needs a headlamp. It's through, I got this one through Verizon. A lot of people on the road, they like to have um, two different types of connections. Okay. For me, both my phone and this jetpack are Verizon right now. Okay. But this is my internet source. My, if I, and when I get a full-time remote job, this is something that I will utilize. It doesn't have any antennas or anything. But it's an extra, it's almost like a hotspot, if you will, like on your cell phone. But you can buy these separately and have additional coverage then for Wi-Fi if you want to use your tablet or laptop. So on this other side, or the same side we were on, I just want to point out, I have Reflectix on my windows. It doesn't look like Reflectix, but I taped both sides. I taped black, of course, for stealthiness on the back. Uh -huh. And then I taped this colored um, duct tape just because I like the color. And then they're being held right now with Velcro, industrial Velcro on the back. Um, again, dry conditions. I have not had issues. Will it last in humidity? I have no idea. I'm hopeful. And then the last thing I had a friend tell me about because I like to bend these uh, to get light during the day is how the heck do I keep them up? Because they just want to stay bent and I was getting sick of taking them off the Velcro, trying to bend them to fit. So my friend said, just go to the Dollar Tree. Good old Dollar Tree, get the large um, binder clips, put them to the top, and then what happens oh, good. is they just go right into that hole, the um, weather stripping in between the window, and bam, they just stay. <laughs> it's genius. You get a game changer, that's probably one of the best things thus far because of privacy reasons. Especially being, if I'm in town being stealth, I kind of need to have those up. And then I just put this hook here, another Dollar Tree find, because I wanted to put up my necklace. It's a tree of life. It's just very beautiful. I think I like it just sitting there versus wearing it. I like my homey decorations. Fred made this picture for me, her little girl. And then this side, well, let's just pull it all out. Hold up. Sorry, it's dusty. All right. Three things plus the rest that are in here is my trash. It's one of those little foot pedal trashes, but it okay. fit perfectly. The reason I had this board put up, uh, I guess before I had the couch made because the, the bed upgrade came after, was so I could put stuff back here and actually have storage. So I have my trash. Behind that, I have a light up makeup mirror. Then way behind that, connected, that's my Wee Boost. I just have the little antenna. You can get a really large antenna. Um, but it's just supposed to jump start your actual reception. So let's say, well, there's different receptions. There's 1X, there's 3G, there's 4G, or there's flatline, so you don't have anything. 1X is the worst. You won't get anything. 3G is what we used to have, which you can still pull, but it will buffer forever. And then, of course, 4G, and now, of course, 5G, which I don't have. Um, but this is supposed to boost you up at least a few bars. Um, so I use it for my phone. I can actually, in the cradle, set my jetpack in there. Um, and then I can get more signal from this too. So it's just a little added bonus. How much was that? I'm sure you're going to ask. Um, I think it was maybe 100, 125, but I got it refurbished on Amazon. Okay. So you can get used ones that have been remanufactured. Um, so you can get them cheaper too. You might actually be able to get these jet packs or something similar on Amazon. Also maybe used and somebody has returned it for cheaper too. So FYI on that. But otherwise, the other things I keep back there, this is just my laptop in an Amazon case. This is my makeup bag. 
don't even really need to see my makeup. I, I keep all my toiletry stuff. I go in the gym, I use that too. And this is what I was saying with my frozen meals. This is my hot logic. It's actually a little portable oven. So it's kind of like a road pro. Can but, we see it? Yeah. Do this, you mind opening it? This will actually, compared to a road pro, will fit those frozen meals. Those road pros will not because they're taller. This is wider and it has the heating source on the bottom. Okay. So you can fit, you can't fit like a hungry man meal in there, yeah. <laughs> but you can fit like a lean cuisine or something that size. This has been a game changer for me, especially in bad weather. I can cook that. It usually takes an hour to an hour and a half to cook a meal in it. So it takes a while and it will take right around 15% of my charge. And my, I use my Jackery 500 for that too uh, when I use it. Um, so that's another thing I've loved. Otherwise, this is my bed. It's uh, in full size mode. Like I said, it does convert to about how my mattress works to convert into a bed. Underneath, you'll see it's made by uh, regular wood pieces for platform. It is hinged um, up all the way to the back of the bed. And underneath there is separate just wood supports that I use for balance. Here's one of them. And then this extra mattress, what happens is I move this up, I put the actual platform underneath the other mattress. It's actually, it seems difficult, but it's not. And then this mattress piece just goes on the back where that wood piece is and it turns into a couch. It's very simple. And then otherwise over here, I do have um, another Jack resource I didn't talk about. I do have the 250 and I use, um, Back here, I have a plug-in, uh, so I have those three plug-ins. This is my other one. The other two are up front in my console, but I charge this Jackery here, and I charge my Lucy lights on it. I charge my speaker on it. And what is the name of this speaker? Uh, the speaker is Black Web, B-L-A-C-K-W-E-B. And does it have any special features to it? Um, just really super good sound. So it seems like when I'm watching a movie, it can connect to any type of device. It sounds like surround sound. And this top part lights up different colors. So it's just kind of a fun little thing. Very nice. And okay. Walmart, right? Yep, this was Walmart. Okay. And then I have headphones. Uh, they're from Sony directly, just in case I'm at stealth mode and I want to still watch things. Um, but otherwise, most of my electronics, I just charge on my smaller Jackery. And also, this is a backup source in case my big one runs out if I don't have any solar coming through. So... This is my other side. Um, so the rest of that shoe organizer is here for all of my shoes. Sorry, it's dusty and dirty, but I am in the desert. And I have a couple things hanging, a couple extra places to hang other stuff. This is my water camelback for hiking, my knife. And I also um, have like mace. I have some other weaponry too, but it's hidden. Keep your pans. Pots and pans. This is my rock pals. That's what I do use for portable solar. I have this 100 panel, or excuse me, 100 watt solar panel, totally portable. And I also have a 60 watt. Oh, pull that back. Let's see under there. There's where the rest of her, um, the fridge. yeah, that's how deep that is. We yes. couldn't see it before, but so it's now 24 we can. inches deep. So it's two feet deep, these Very shelves. Nice. So how do you like the rock pal? Um, I love them. Okay. I think they're great. I like this material. It's very easy to wash off. Is it lightweight too? It's lightweight. Yeah. It's easy to set up. I haven't had any issues with wind. Um, I bought two because I had the two Jackery. So 60 watt was for my 250 Jackery. This 100 watt was supposed to be for my 500. But once I learned I can charge off of my battery <laughs> when my car or when my van's not running, I don't use these as often, but I keep them in case. And then back here, I have a bamboo mat, you know, an outdoor mat if I want to utilize that. And I also have my yoga mat. And lastly is my other side. So you saw my laundry. The only other things I keep down here is my water and then extra supplies. So my paper towels mm. and such if I want. If I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to a store that would have what my needs I need pretty much every day, I keep an extra set up there. And then this is all my laundry stuff I keep in the door. And I get all my laundry stuff from Dollar Tree because you can get the small little containers of soap there. And I like those because they fit right in. And this bag sits flat, so then most of this is open. Then the minivan, this one comes with two club boxes, which is really nice. 
This one, I keep all of my power cords that I don't use when I'm charging. So these are all my AC ones uh, that I would use if I was in sticks and bricks or somewhere with electric. I don't normally use those. And then underneath here is just car items that I keep. I have a little rock collection, but this is my grandpa's rocks. Mm, There's a story like. behind them, but okay. yes, I'm gonna yeah. turn them into jewelry. So I keep those just because I have room. So I keep them in there. This is batteries. I have batteries. I think I only have one thing that uses batteries, so I have some extras. Let's get it this way. And then the last thing I guess I want to show you are these stick-on. These are from Amazon. I couldn't find them, um, so I can't really share with you a link for them. But they are the Enove, E-N-O-V-O-E. And those have been great. I ripped this one, so it's not because it, you know, it fell apart on me. That was my own doing because I put the window down and it got stuck. I forgot it was on. But these I've been having up and I keep up usually all the time for UV blocking and also just to help with the heat. And I have an emergency blanket. Not that easy to get to. It's kind of like those, you know, the gray one, like you have. I have some under my seat. So if worse comes to worse and it's super hot, I put those up. And I put them up with these 25 pound earth magnets. They're very heavy. Oh, I, <laughs> I like mean, they those. stick really well. I have two on both sides, so I can put one in the front and then I can put one in the back. So those just stay up here. And I can go through the car washes with these, just the FYI to a lot of people if they use magnets outside on their vehicles, you can't go through car washes because they will stick and you will break the car wash and it will be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did, well, these are my coats back here. This is a comfy I wear at the campfire. It's like one of those Snuggies. Okay. My coats are under there too. I think that's it. Unless you had a question. What are the specs again? So I can Probably. cut the wood. I yeah. It's kind of just a design I came up in, you know, with in my head. And then when my friend said he would put it together, we just kind of worked together on it. And the whole design, you know, it's just kind of thinking outside the box. So once it's being built, I'm like, oh, you know, it would really be nice to have this back thing here so I could have storage on the other side. And, oh, you know, maybe if I do ever have a couch and I have cushions, that would be nice to have up already, which now I finally got the couch built. And the couch build was not from any kind of specs. It was just me thinking it out loud and I don't know, just having it, you know, come to fruition, I guess, if you will, so. Yeah. So my, I know that you wouldn't be able to store anything on this side because no. you fold it up. But do you okay. have things stored on the other side? Because possibly can you? Because that is sort of static, right, right. on this side. Is, right. Do you store things under there at all? Um, I don't really have anything back here because it's harder to get to, and I keep right. my stabilizers for this addition. Oh, addition okay, gotcha. Here. It's just my stove up front, but I have my little garage here yeah. with just my tools and stuff so this is the back storage space i okay. have i have extra um stakes and supports for my bamboo mat i have a hatchet for wood i have a drill i have a brush because you know there's a little dust in the desert mm -hmm. yeah. a little bit a little bit nice pillows oh, yeah, yeah so these pillows have everything has a story right and when you're a minimalist everything needs to have a story it has to have a purpose that's you right have, to have like a love of it um, but these pillows my friend actually gave me she wasn't using, and it worked out good because the coverings, uh, which I actually haven't finished, my friend made them for me, but this was my grandma's material. Um, I found it in a truck in her attic that was cleaning out. It was uh, three generations, I would consider it, because it was my grandma and grandpa's house, and it was my aunt and uncle's house, and I stayed there too, so technically I'm a third. Um, but I found this randomly clean out her house last year, and so my friend put together these pillowcases. Um, this is Merrimack corduroy. I think you can still get it, but it's original with the patches too that were Merrimack that she put together. So I just get really excited about these things, you know, and that's what's so wonderful about living such a teeny lifestyle is everything you have, you know, really should bring you some joy. It's really true, I think. And it, it really takes away that stress in your life. And a lot of people have this chair. Um, yeah. The reason I got it was that it's a director's back versus the regular camping chair. So there's yeah. a lot more support. Okay. And you can actually get out of it very easy. A lot of those that dip, yeah. you can't get out. Plus a table in the pockets. So if I'm going to a fire, I can 
put all of my basic needs, snacks and phones and Kleenex. There you go. Whatever. You and got then, your little trash. Yep, this is that, it's a foldable, uh, is it Cog? Coglin. Coglin. Yeah. But it's from Walmart and it's foldable. Wait, so. Yeah. I can, but I have, it's really heavy right now because I have rocks on the bottom. Okay, and because you don't want to blow them. away. Yeah, I've been keeping the rocks in there because I've lost that almost in the water a few times. I've seen these. Mm -hmm. I actually use this, not for dishes because I don't have a lot, but I use it to wash my hair. Um, so that was kind of neat. And then the infamous pee container. This is your pee bottle. <laughs> this is my big, big pee bottle. And the reason it's so big is because I don't want to miss. It's Thank you so much, Lindy, for this wonderful tour. Please tell everybody how they can find you. Okay, um, so I am on YouTube under Living the Life Lindy. It's L-I-V-I-N, the life, L-I-N-D-Y. I'm also on Facebook. I don't usually open up my comments on my YouTube. I'd rather you connect with me on Facebook. And I'm on there at Lindy Marie. Lindy Marie, M-A-R-I-E? Yes. Lindy Marie. So, yes. Go check her out on YouTube. Her channel. I know. I know. We 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 we've been <laughs> we've been having a little bit of a giggle session. <laughs> this has actually been fun. Gee, I wonder how you can tell that. <laughs> this has been. <laughs> Anyways, so yes, check her out, and uh, we better end this, or you're just <laughs> you're just gonna keep Bye. hearing the giggling. Bye. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, thank you so much, Lindy, for this tour. You're very welcome. It is gorgeous. She has uh, the best build out. Let's do this again. <laughs> I'm the chicken of people. Please do. <laughs> Lindy, this has been so much fun. <laughs> and you can tell. Well, we got, we're getting the giggles here. Oh my gosh. So, Lindy, um, I, please tell everybody how they can find you. Okay, um, so I am on YouTube under Living the Life Lindy. It's L I V I N, the Life L I N D Y. I'm also on Facebook. I don't usually open up my comments on my YouTube. I'd rather you connect with me on Facebook. And I'm on there at Lindy Marie. Lindy Marie. M-A-R-I-E? Yes. Lindy Marie. So, yes. Go check her out on YouTube. Her channel. I know, I know. We, 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 we've, been, <laughs> we've been having a little bit of a giggle session. <laughs> this has actually been fun. <laughs>